So here we are, everyone. We are coming up on March 2023. These are timeless messages, but as of the recording of this, we are coming up into March, and this is going to be a massive turning point, okay? It's just going to get started here in March, so be ready for that. Keep in mind that these are angelic messages that I do. I don't do astrology, but um, check with an astrologer. I mean, there are many, many good ones out there. There are some planetary uh, movements happening right now, so they can explain that part a lot better. But we're going to do the angelic part of it here. And what I'm going to do for this particular video, I'm going to do a, a reading for everybody, and then I'm going to go into groups. So group one, two, three, there will be timestamps. You choose, you know, whatever extra part of this you want to listen to. If it's all of it, great. If it's two groups, great. However you want to do that. But please keep in mind that those are still general readings. This would be the time if you've ever considered getting a reading, especially an angelic messaging reading. Now's the time, okay? So angelsouls444.com. You can ask anything you want. I also do Akashic Records readings, but sometimes... If you're asking a more surface level question, that's more angelic messaging. If you're asking about deep patterns, fears that, you know, you can't seem to get over, then we can go into an Akashic Records reading, okay? Just keep in mind, this is not a replacement for therapy, if that's something that's going on for you, right? No shame in getting help in every way, right? So the angels will absolutely answer your question, but they're going to go a lot deeper and get you fortified to be able to handle what is coming. And to be able to make choices from a healthy space. So again, angelsouls444.com if you would like to sign up for that. Now, as of the recording of this, I am doing a live event. This is going to be on, I have it right here, <laughs> February 28th. And it is 7 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time. So that was going to be 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the details for that will be in the description box and it is going to be on Labradorite. So talking about, because that's another great crystal to be working with right now to help you get through and to be really tuned in. That's the purpose of angels coming in and guiding us and helping us, right? To help us not just get through the day-to-day -day stuff, but to know what's happening on a soul contract level. Just want to put that out there because, <laughs> you know, I want everybody to be prepared. So let's start with the general part of it here. And this part is for everyone. Okay. Some of these changes are going to happen... See, angels, you know, time is not linear for angels. So they try to help us understand things in a human context. And so my human part of me is uh, interpreting this like, like it's coming now. Changes are going to start happening right now. And if you're sitting there going, well, yeah, we've been doing that for a long time. Dare I say that was just the warm up. <laughs> right? So like. I know, I'm right there with you guys, okay? It's it's crazy to watch, but at least we have each other. That's what I try to do here is have a community of people where we can support one another. You know, and as I'm shuffling here, I may put in another live event where it's a it's a hangout. We did well with another hangout where people could come together as a community and uh, discuss some of the things that were happening in their region. And talk openly about their concerns. Because I think that is important. And anybody who's trying to do this um, spiritual manipulation, where it's like, oh, just stay positive, good vibes only. That's escapism. And it's kind of manipulative. If it's somebody who doesn't have good intentions and they want to convince you that they're always positive. You know what I mean? All right. Let's get the overview here. Three of air, okay? So this says, great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. And I'm getting chills, all right? So please, what does this look like? Um, it's things happening underground, things happening without our knowledge. And even when we think like, ah, caught you, got you, 
it's not, that's not the whole story. So we might start, first of all, our consciousness needs to wake up to some of the things that we're seeing. And we have been so conditioned. We talk about that all the time. But if you're ever one of those people, just as an example, we were just saying, not allowed to ever feel upset or concerned because then somehow you're failing as a spiritual person. That, oh, that is just a disgusting manipulation of what this practice is supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be expanding your awareness and having you, I don't want to sit here and say, see the wisdom and everything, but be able to see things for what they actually are and really heightening that intuitive vision and opening up the heart brain, right? This is an intelligence. Your gut is your, you know, instincts too as well. So too as well, <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, this is talking about starting off this time with some heartbreak. Now, again, I, you know, there, this is general, okay? So not everybody's going to be experiencing this on an individual level, but out in the collective, this might be people just being worn out. Um, I can't pinpoint just one, one event. It's natural disaster. It's all the stuff we've already been seeing. And there might be some news about a celebrity or somebody that is very near and dear to our hearts that, um, you know. Okay. So a lot around that. Natural disasters. Um, we know that there is the threat of war. I'm hearing this is something that'll make us want to, like, I'm going to put this in a human way, almost make us want to run back to our, to our families, right? Like, um, I don't know. And I say that because this, there's like a little, what is it, was it a cult? <laughs> is that what a baby, what is a baby horse called? Why am I like blanking on that? But there's like a little baby in there and he's snuggling up to presumably his mommy or or something. So that's that kind of feeling like wanting some very, very deep comfort again, which is what the angels do for you. Okay. They help you, um, sort of come into that place of peace, find the peace, no matter what's going on out in the world. Um, so that you can get through and get, keep, keep yourself level. All right. Okay, so then we have eight of fire, events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. See, this is why, I don't know, remember, there are people out there who are psychic readers and they tune into the exact details of the events. I, I tap into the energy of, you know, comfort, handling it, maintaining your spiritual wellness so that you can get through and a little bit of the other stuff too. <laughs> but, but this is, um, these are kind of two interesting cards to come out together. Lots of things happening at once and something heartbreaking. What this could also mean, it doesn't have to be, I, I think there are going to be, I mean, it's been happening. Many more things are going to happen, but, uh, this for some of you on a personal level could be, you know, all these offers are coming in and, I'm going to have to, it could be love offers too. You know what I mean? Like something, something kind of rocks your world and it's almost like mourning the old version of you. I, I, you know, tell people this all the time in personal readings. There's usually some bit of grief, even if something really good is happening, it might be bittersweet, right? Where it's like, oh, you know, I fall in love, but we have to move or, um, I got a job offer, but I have to leave the town that I love, you know, that sort of thing. But on the global scale, uh, on a global scale, look at, I can't say too much in here, but look at how all those little things are firing off. Okay. Can you see how they look? So not saying it's guaranteed. And remember, one of the things that we're waking up to and starting to realize and will realize over the next couple of years is that we do have power. If we don't want it, we don't have to take it. Okay. 
And that is one of the biggest delusions that we've had to deal with is, is being told that we're powerless and we have to listen to the powers that be. And, you know, I'm not saying go out there and, you know, wreak havoc, but, you know, we, especially energetically can, can help ourselves. So we have King of Fire, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic, focus, 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 communicate with vision and be a leader, advice from someone creative. This has, I, this is, pardon me while I keep looking down here, but this has a very like, um, it's kind of like what I was just saying. It's very take charge. It's very, that, I don't know, that focus, 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 that's what it says on the card. Um, <laughs> yes, these are like angel kind of going over the the structure of tarot kind of thing, but they have angelic energy about them. But um, this is like someone saying, okay, enough is enough. And we're going to take care of this. Or maybe it's you for your family going, okay, now we see things as they are. And it's not that people aren't taking things seriously. I think they are. But it's it's more of like, now we know what direction we need to go in. Now we know how we need to prepare. Now we know um, this needs to be our, you know, where our energy goes. Does that make sense? And that can be, I feel like there's a little bit of a, there is a community feel here, but first, it's uh, hyperness. It's, you know, not shock. I mean, it could be shock, but I don't think so. I think it's like dread. Like, well, this has been happening. We knew this was happening sort of thing. Because everything that is about to unfold, some of it we won't have context for. It's just our human brains have never seen that before. In other ways, there are things it's like, well, that's happened. That's on a cycle. We knew that was coming. And yet here it is. And we didn't know exactly how it was going to play out until it's in our face. So being hit with a little dose of reality. But that king of fire, someone may come up and um, try to be a leader. we got to be careful with that. Learn from history. We don't want to replace one negative form of power with another shakeups yeah but as awful as some of this may seem on the surface it's working out well for us i know it doesn't seem like it and it might take years for us to see that it's helping us but um let's just get more let's get more here oh Oh, I almost dropped the card. Two of Earth, uh, too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Find your peace. There, there are going to be things happening constantly, okay? And we again, we've already been seeing that. Where every day there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 things that have occurred that you won't hear out in the mainstream. You won't hear about it. Where do you hear about it? You hear about it from the people who are going through it. And you know where to find them, okay? Uh, but this is trying to find our equilibrium. Things are happening. I just heard legislation too. It's everything. <laughs> it's like literally, um, here are these two cards. Like fast forward motion and, and trying to find your balance. Trying to focus, that's what this was talking about. Focus and take charge of your own life of your own circumstances. Um, this very much feels like a survival kind of moment. Now, I'm not saying like, oh, this is the big one. I'm not saying that, okay? I am saying it may not be that. It may not. I hope it's not, okay? But um, there's clarity. And it comes through the heartbreak. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm pulling another card from a different deck. I'm pulling a card from a different deck. Uh, and this is Eight of Michael. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. That's what I was saying. Like all of these things that were sort of in the depths and hidden and we've been manipulated to see things in a certain way. Now we realize, okay, like we've been imprisoned by a delusion. And we don't need to be there anymore. Now, what that looks like when we start cracking open, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be uncomfortable. 
And are people going to be freaking out and panicking in the way we would think? No. Because if you notice, <laughs> even the past few years, I mean, how did people really panic? They, they hoarded toilet paper. I did that with soap. I, I didn't realize I was doing it. What's my problem? I was just afraid of not smelling nice. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm still working through the soaps that I have. But anyway, they're like a comforting, affordable luxury to make me feel cozy, I guess. But this is that kind of thing where, you know, we might expect people to be out in the streets and going crazy and all that stuff. Um, there are people who are like that, but they're a small portion of the population. I feel like this is more of let's get through the barricade here let's um now we have this information now we know what we're working with so let's be there for each other it's a lot of strength uh, get yourself mentally emotionally physically and spiritually prepared what does that look like um again every person's different i can't talk about that in a general reading but um making sure you know, like the one card said, uh, taking a more playful approach. Oh, God. It's so many things. We don't have any pentacles. Oh, well, yes, we do. This is considered a pentacles card. But I, I was just feeling like there's something around money, too. And it's this sort of thing where I feel like there's a rebellion going on. So I don't know if everybody kind of, I don't know what this looks like. And I'm not trying to encourage anything bad. Certainly not. Um, but this is the kind of thing where, like, an entire community refuses to, well, we have East Palestine. Obviously, that whole community is going through it right now. But I'm talking more about communities going, um, no, we're not paying this. No, we're not going to pay this rent. No, we're not going to agree to that kind of mortgage. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, something around our, our basic human rights to clean food, clean water, and shelter. And clothing right um and really this could be a lot of realizing um what's in the stuff that we consume and i know people have known that and talked about it for forever i feel like this is new information i feel like this is um not worse than we thought because again it's sort of this like okay that like we knew it but we're getting the details now some of them it's just starting now and it's gonna be expanding so we're about to go through all these times and it is to free us it's not going to seem like it on the surface i'm waiting for the comments you said that no 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 critical thinking please and thank you okay uh <laughs> it's, it's not going to be like that so i'm going to move on to uh the groups one two three again the timestamps will be below if you want to join the lives make sure that you're not only checking the description boxes because these are timeless and I can't go back to every single video and update the description box, right? Um, so make sure you're checking my Angel Souls community tab on YouTube. And I often put it on my Facebook page and sometimes on Instagram as well. Make sure you're watching that for updates on the upcoming lives. That's also where I do quick updates about anything that's going on. So sometimes when I get, I do get a psychic hit about something, uh, I don't feel good about whatever's coming, I put it in there. So if you're not watching that, if you're not aware of that, you're going to miss some updates. And also the dailies are going to be moving over to YouTube shorts. Um, hey, I was ahead of my time, man. <laughs> I love doing the short form content, but make sure you're going over there to get that content. And obviously I'm on TikTok as well. So, you know, if you don't see it on YouTube shorts, you can check it over there. Angelsouls444.com. If you want to do some personalized angelic messages to help you work through this and to be ready, okay? Whatever you feel is right. Let's get on to the groups.
Okay, group one, let's see what message you have here. Still general, but you know, I'll give you a little more context and information. Okay, two of fire. This says uh, you've come into your own, new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So this feels like it might be with a little bit of a challenge because we have some general energies that are, I mean, collective energies that are knocking us off base a little bit here. But this is, uh, how do I want to say this? This is sort of like, okay, then we're going to strike out on our own. Or, okay, I'm going through this, you're going through that. Can we help each other, right? Uh, collaborative efforts, joining your passions, right? People who have uh, similar goals, how can we come together? This almost makes me think of like barter system <laughs> a little bit, but uh, it's, it's interesting because whatever's going on out in the world, you're realizing, I've got this cough that just keeps <laughs> coming up on me. I, I apologize. But um, it feels like, you know, all these things we've been trained to be afraid of, you realize, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for these challenges. Let's see what we do with it. All right. Three of Earth, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. See, again, this partnership. So you're not going to be able to go it alone here. And this is about, it can be about finances too. So this, it has this feeling of start small, start very small. Um, and I heard humbling, humbling. So some of you who may, maybe you're partnering up, partnering up with someone in a business, let's say, or maybe you're figuring out some housing situation so that you guys can save money and, and get through, um, this is focusing on the basics. This is what I feel like. It's sort of, we're not going to jump out the gate and expect to have a billion dollar company. We're going to come out so that we can enjoy our lives, have our needs covered, figure out a creative solution to some of the things that are right in our faces. Yeah. The high priestess numbers two on here, uh, and it's Archangel Haniel. So Haniel is all about the divine feminine. Now we all have divine feminine and masculine within us and we need to figure out how to harmonize that. This is the need for, again, that intuition, but to really look at and be honest with ourselves. What are we carrying around that is not ours? And if it's a mindset, if it's an idea of something, right? Like we, we want to let that go. So it says, um, like changing your perspective to what is really there instead of what you've been told you're supposed to believe. Does that make sense? So listen to your intuition. Have patience. I know we hate that, <laughs> right? Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Yeah, so this is not a time, like I said, starting out very humbly. So you're not jumping out the gate and tripping over your own two feet and falling on your face. This is like, okay, when we feel guided to take the next step, we will. And it is kind of watching what is going on out there in the out there kind of world, because that will have everything to do with your timing, you know, and balance, <laughs> bringing it home. Uh, the number is 14 reduces to five. So as you go through these changes, you may, I think what the thing is here is that, cause they're even saying have patience. I think this is like, I'm so uncomfortable I don't like what's going on. I want to just change it, right? Let's say you've been single a very long time. You're in love with somebody. You know there's a mutual love there. And you guys just kind of keep dancing around each other. And you might get to a place where you're like, okay, I really want to jump ahead. But, eh, <laughs> right? Like, that might freak out the other person, right? So the balance here is like, okay, change is here. But watch how you approach that change, okay? So this is Archangel Zadkiel. Zadkiel is all about transmutation. So this uh, can be putting things into a different context, 
Um, taking something that when you think of it and you always have a negative feeling um, or maybe anger or resentment, something like that, realizing, you know, I, I can move past that in whatever way is right for you and in the timing that is right for you. Okay, nothing to be rushed. So it says the need for balance and moderation, uh, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. See, this whole thing is about working together following your intuition and not not taking I don't know how to say this it's not taking the route that people tell you to take right so let's say you're looking for a job and you hear all of these HR recruiters out there some of them I'm gonna say right out some of them are really out of touch with what's going on like they're not understanding that people don't want to do the cover letter anymore that was necessary back in the day because you had to mail in your application. And so, yeah, you would want a letter kind of explaining what you're doing, right? Um, it's 2023. We don't need that anymore, right? Or them saying, never say this in an interview. It's all of this, like, here's how you play the game. Come in and be really inauthentic. No, 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 we're not saying that. We're just saying, like, no, you are. I used to work in HR. I've seen enough <laughs> about it. We never looked at the cover letters. I don't know if other people do, but we never look at the cover letter, letters. And, um, you know, the people that got through were the ones who, they were professional, but they didn't go along with the script. They were the ones who got through. So it's kind of like that, where it's like, we realize now, like, let's not just follow that, um, that, that sort of sheeple mentality, if I can put it that way. But moving in a direction that is more authentic to who we are. Same kind of thing if there's rules around dating. You know, if you just show up and you're being yourself, that's enough. And if you're actually a jerk, thank you for being obvious about it so we know to move away from that. <laughs> right? I mean... That's that kind of energy here of like, we're, we're breaking the rules, but we're breaking them slowly and methodically, not in this like grandiose manipulative kind of way, but just, I'm going to start stepping back and away from that. It doesn't work, right? Epiphany. There you go. Numbers nine. So you're done. You're, you're like, I've learned through all of this. We're not going through all of that again. So Epiphany Archangel Raziel. Raziel helps us transform our lives through manifestation and taking all of those dreams and realizing one why we want them okay and to help us focus our energy so say you're dreaming big Rosie will come in and go okay that's wonderful to have all these big dreams how do they fit together so that we can make this nice uh sort of way for it to come into the physical right so uh, Epiphany, Archangel Raziel, joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. This is not a time for you to fly forward. Okay, I've said that before. I'll say it again. You have some work to do. And it is definitely on a deep spiritual level. Okay, bear that in mind. So we'll leave it there for you guys and on to group two. Hello, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. Okay, so you have a very different kind of thing starting off here than group one did. Uh, now, if you're watching a couple of the, the groups, take it as a whole. All right, so you'll resonate with the parts that you need to hear. Okay, you'll get a little ping like, oh, I better pay attention to that. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. This could be, I, I really get this strong feeling that this is like, I've wanted it, I've wanted it. Oh my God, it's here. <laughs> now what? I've been so used to waiting that now I, I almost went into a sleep waiting for real love to come along, right? That's a big one. I think I think there's a lot of heart opening that's happening and a lot of um, very beautiful soul connections coming together because, you know, for a very long time it's been about survival. It still is about survival, but 
Um, it's been a lot of conditioning. You hear me talk about that a crazy amount of times because it's still a thing. Okay. <laughs> but this is a lot uh, just sort of moving forward. This could be like I wasn't getting any job offers. Now I've got five. What do I do? You know, and uh, almost because I feel like this almost works to your detriment in a way because it gets you into this place of indecision and especially in that example of jobs coming in it had this feeling of I'm so afraid to make the wrong choice I'm so afraid of getting into a situation and missing out on something really amazing right then we have eight of water a desire to move on the search for something more meaningful spiritual and emotional growth okay so Okay, be careful with this. This is, uh, <laughs> I kind of got the feeling like, especially when it comes to love, people are kind of short-circuiting and going, you know what? I don't like you anymore, husband. I'm leaving you. <laughs> like, okay, I mean, every situation is different, okay? But this is sort of like, I have options. Oh, God. You guys, don't be out there being messy with your relationships, okay? Don't do it. Um, but <laughs> definitely... Where you have felt stuck, something is shifting and you feel it. You will feel it coming and you know, this is my cue. This is my cue to move on. This is my cue to leave that in the past. Or um, again, if you feel like you have it, you've just been kind of sitting like oh, everything I do gets pushed back in my face. Every time I, you know, dating is like a big thing with the dating apps, um, you know, all the news around that. Be careful out there. But I've been out there putting myself out there for love. And, you know, it's not been working. Now something's coming forward that could work. And I've got butterflies in my stomach when I say that, okay? Or, again, you know, I've been stuck in my life and I don't know how to move forward. And now you get some, some bit of inspiration. Maybe many points of inspiration. And you know exactly how you want to move forward. Ten of water. Look at this. Uh, contented and rewarded family life. Your emotional material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So there's some very lovely energy coming in for you. <laughs> but this is like, um, you know, the eight of fire. A lot. That can be a lot of passion. That could be a lot of things just coming at you. Like you're hot in demand, okay, <laughs> for whatever reason. And emotionally, you're like, okay, you know what? I am going to allow myself to be happy. And here it is, okay? Here is this moment where you finally figure out what brings you joy. That's a big part of this message too. There could be things coming in, especially let's say it's a, I don't know, a creative project or something, and maybe you never thought of yourself. I'm making up examples here. Never thought of myself as a singer. But someone comes up and says they like my voice and they want me to do this thing. Right, this thing that could get me in a different direction with my career, or um, I've been on my own for a very, very long time. I kind of gave up on love, and then here comes someone really amazing. Right, it could be something along those lines, and I also hear coming to peace with group two. This almost has this feeling of like previously you had like too much time on your hands to worry about things. Okay. <laughs> And then everything kind of starts coming your way and now you don't have time for that. Now there's no time to look backward, backwards. You have to be uh, <laughs> taking taking all the good that's come to you. You guys have a great, a great card spread here. So this is the dreamer having a fresh start. Not doing it anymore. Not going to hold yourself up or cage yourself anymore. Uh, the Dreamer, Archangel Metatron, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. That's what this was kind of feeling like, these unexpected opportunities. So you have the door flying open for you, okay? Uh, this is saying definitely the, the chance at happiness and, and to realize what makes you happy, it's there. It's there. Just make sure, we have the two eights here, they're pointing that, oh hitting crystals everywhere. <laughs> We've got the two eights here and the dreamer. So you're coming into some freedom here. You're coming into some beautiful, the eight is associated with abundance, by the way. Um, but 
to me, this is like, you know, leading to a place of completion, right? So it's getting, I'm seeing two messages with this. So I'm seeing the round and around and around and around and around and around and okay, I'm done. <laughs> you know what this feels like? It feels for some of you out there, again, this, you know, this is a general reading still even for this group, but it feels like I've just gotten into my lull. I've just done this. I, you know, whatever. Whoa, there's the love of my life or yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep putting things out there and I don't know, just none of my manifestations are coming true because you were going after things that wouldn't really serve you. And now you have clarity. Okay. Now you have clarity. Something breaks open and you know how you want to move forward. But let's get one more card here. Okay. We're good. Let me clear this out. It's good. It's very good. And you know me, I'm cautiously optimistic because <laughs> I don't want people just being like, my future's assured. I don't have to do anything. You can't live like that, okay? But this is good energy. You have good things to work with here if you choose to work with it. You know, you can shove anything back out because you're afraid of it. You don't trust it. Always be discerning. You know, another thing too is when we have a lot of like emotional fulfillment cards, people might might just leap into a relationship because that was the next person who came along after they heard this card reading. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no. Listen to your heart. Really listen to your heart. Here's your card. Okay, seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. See, you are moving on and people wanted to keep you stuck. Okay, so you might be in a situation, whatever that is, what area of life that might be, I'm not sure because it's going to be different for everybody. But someone is like, you can't do that. I don't think he's that great. I don't think she's that great. But they're just doing it. They're saying it out of jealousy. Okay, they're saying it out of jealousy or you can't move there because they don't want you moving away. Right? They want their friend near them. <laughs> or they're just trying to, someone's trying to drag you down. You're trying to move on and someone's trying to hold you back. Or a situation wants to hold you back. Or a company wants to hold you back. Yeah, you know, This reminds me of the company that is constantly fear-mongering, saying, you know, layoffs are imminent. Layoffs are going to happen. You may not have any. We can't possibly give you a raise and give you what you deserve. And maybe you're a millennial and you don't play that game. So you leave. <laughs> right? And now on the way out, they're like, can't believe you're doing this to us. Can't believe you would betray us like this. Because the betrayal's on you. Clearly, they didn't do enough to keep you or appreciate you, but it's your problem, right? So whatever happens here, stand up for what you believe in. A lot of times people love to get, you know, or give advice. They're like armchair experts on your life, right? Just so long as you're not in your ego and making decisions from your ego. An example of that is, oh my gosh, everybody wants me. So I'm going to go out and cheat on my spouse because I'm not going to hold myself back anymore. I deserve this. <laughs> like, listen, hey, yo, that's none of my business, but karma is karma, honey. And that's it. All right. So <laughs> we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. We're going to move on to group three. Hello, group three. Let's see what's going on for you. have six of air yeah uh, things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip you know if you guys uh went back and listened to the general part of it uh those are all kind of the base because it's a collective message that's the base of these group messages and this is like for you guys it feels like observing what's going on out there and going oh heck no <laughs> We're not doing this, right? So if you, especially if you live in the United States on the coast, any of the coasts, um, there could be some event, whether it's flooding, an earthquake, uh, 
let's just say a man-made disaster or something. And you might go, no, or it could just be like rising costs of living. You're fed up and you're saying, nope, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're, we're moving on. We're not, we're not taking this nonsense. Yeah. Six of fire, <laughs> six of air to six of fire, baby. Like we're moving on. We've got a plan and we're going to make it work. So this says victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. So be on the lookout for, I don't know. I just heard like pressurized. So like there might be so, so much pressure that you finally go, okay, I, I need to stop trying to make this thing work. So an example I'm thinking of is like, let's say you do live in a big city and you rent an apartment and you know, they've raised the rent so crazy, you know, like you're barely making ends meet and you're like, oh gosh, I got to get a second job. I got to work harder. I got to work hard. And then you stop and go, or I can just get the heck away from this town. What's so great about it? You might get to that place. <laughs> you might get to that place of like, I'm not going to feed into this. Like this town is the greatest town that ever was when I can go live somewhere else, have a happier life, be more in, a, in attunement with who I am and not have to struggle. Right? So it's kind of like, that's your victory. Victory, that's just an example, but a victory coming from uh, changing how you think you have to deal with it, okay? Queen of Fire, you're taking charge here. Confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Uh, assert your independence and creativity. Uh, so this is an abrupt change. This is very different from group one. So if you kind of chose group three and group one, uh, feel out which one intuitively felt like that was your bigger message. And then this is sort of the secondary message, right? So all of these things might be, you know, really good things are coming your way, but group one was like, okay, be mindful, <laughs> be careful as you're going along. So just in case, you know, just put that out there. So you're ready to move, man. You're ready to put something into action. And it could be that like you have felt stuck for a very long time, potentially for years. And now you're like, all of a sudden, that's how I do it, right? And the energy opens up, you start moving forward, you've got your plan, it's put into action, like it's not just keeping it in idea mode, you're making it happen, you're bringing it into fruition. And then we have King of Air, Queen of Fire, King of Air, brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomatic. Speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. Yeah, because you actually have a very, very balanced reading here. <laughs> it's like head and heart going on. So make sure that you keep that energy intact, okay? So um, not overthinking something, overanalyzing it, and also not just going, this is what I want. Everyone get out of my way, <laughs> right? It's sort of the balancing of the two. And this is what is actually going to... Um, have your dreams be successful, okay? Not in this way of, I'm trying to think of an example of like, I'm fed up, I want to move forward. So I'm just going to start throwing, let's say in career, I'm just going to start throwing my resume out everywhere and just see what sticks. I don't care anymore, <laughs> right? Well, that's not, that's not it. You may get an inspiration about what direction to actually go in. Or what are the roles maybe you could be applying for that could be very beneficial? You know, that sort of thing. So, ah, oh, almost dropped it. Yikes. So I'm going to fill out what else is going on here. It feels a little bit like partnership because we've got two sixes here and then a king and a queen here. And I definitely, I'm feeling like someone has your back. Someone has your back in a way where they can bring something to the table that you don't have, right? So if, I mean, let's see, let's say it's someone, <laughs> again, let's talk career. Let's say you're going to start your own business and maybe you're the ideas person. You're the creative person. Well, you kind of need somebody who is very business minded to come in and help you balance that out. You, okay, it's, it's that sort of thing. So let's get this other card and get the whole story here. I'm just clearing out the deck. Okay. Let's 
Okay, so they're saying equal considerations. Equal considerations. So for some of you, if this is uh, like a love partnership, instead of fighting and, and trying to battle each other or maybe you're on the dating scene and you're just, you know, it's not what I want. I'm not getting what I want. Um, realizing that someone is being put in front of you Use your discernment. Don't just listen to a card reading. Go off and the next person you meet, you're like, you're it. <laughs> like, don't do that. Um, but, you know, you might realize, hey, I need to appreciate this more. Because this person equals me out. You know what I mean? Or kind of balances me out. Yeah. Like, for me, I'm a very creative person. And I like the creative side of things more than the business side of things. But if I had a partner who came in and was very business-minded... Um, it might be nice to have a support like that. You know what I mean? Like if I had a business partner, uh, somebody who could give that to the situation. So we have King of Raphael, warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. So this can definitely be a potential love partner coming in. It's the king, but you know. You don't have to go by that, <laughs> but like somebody who is very mature, someone who has a big open heart, someone who's incredibly healing, right? And again, that healing force, it's not up to anybody else to heal us. It's not up to anybody else to make us feel happy. Um, but if somebody does do that for us, it's a bonus, right? <laughs> it's a, it's kind of nice. So somebody comes in uh, and makes you realize maybe how lovable you are. Or how smart you are. You're like how good your ideas are. They're very encouraging and very caring. Now, if it's not a love partnership, if it's not in that context, this could definitely be someone who's like, hey, you have really amazing ideas. Don't be so hard on yourself. You know, I've mastered this emotional thing and I know that emotions can really get us off track, right? Get so wound up in the, in the big ideas that we don't bring it into fruition. So here are these two kings here, right? This, I guess this could represent two people coming in uh, and helping and giving advice. But for some of you, I don't even know. Like, why do I feel like the queen has to pick between two kings, for some of you, someone is kind of a more uh, mentally, intellectually focused and the other one's kind of more heart focused. They lead with their heart. Uh, yeah, some of you might be a little messy out there. That's OK. <laughs> we love you anyway. No worries. But that did come up and it does kind of make you feel like you're on your high horse. So um, be respectful to people out there. OK, don't just. Don't be toying with people's hearts. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.